Hey guys, welcome to the FTC Crash Course Design number three, part basic part modeling. So first off today, we're gonna be designing a few different pieces. One of our first piece is going to be a cube. So first you're gonna go in Inventor and you're gonna click on part. And then what you're gonna do is go into sketch mode. And once you're in sketch mode, we're gonna go to the rectangle sketch tool and we're just going to make this a one inch by one inch cube and once you get your basic square started then you're going to click finish sketch once you finish sketch go to the extrude option and extrude the cube to one inch and then if you want to you can go mess around in the material selection at the top and this is where you can just change the different texture or color or material that you're using for your product or for your part. So now we have our cube uh, completed and we're going to save it as cube. Um, you can put this in or you can save this in your file and boom, now it's a completed product. And now we're going to start our next part, which is our cylinder. So I like the first part the, like the cube we're going to go into sketch mode and this time since we're making a cylinder we're going to use the circle sketch tool and we're going to make this a one inch diameter circle and then we're going to go to the extrude option after you finish sketch and then make it an inch tall and then if you want to you can change the material or texture or color and boom now you have your cylinder and that's pretty cool and then just like the cube you can save it as cylinder and into the in, into the file of your choice and now that we have the cylinder done we're gonna go start another part and we're gonna do a basic sphere now this one's kind of cool but it also is a little bit complex. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into sketch mode, get the line sketch tool, and then make it one inches long. Then you're going to get the arc tool, and then you're gonna make a half inch radius arc. And then what you're gonna do is go into extrude, and not extrude, revolve, and then you can, click the first axis, which is the straight line or the diameter of the sphere. And then you click revolve around and then you'll have a nice looking sphere. And then once you're done with that, you can save it and save it to the specified file that would you would like to save it to for our next part we're gonna go to new part having a little bit of computer lag <laughs> click sketch and then we're gonna grab a rectangle. And then we're gonna make... Now we are gonna make a one inch rectangle by two inches. And then after that, we're just gonna create some random lines that we'll later do stuff with in the future. Both of these lines don't have to be the same length. Just try and make them both long enough that they cross each other. So a cool thing in Inventor um, is that you can make lines go to like, constrain them together so you can make them to a specific um, size or angle or just be able to move two lines at the same time by clicking tool then if you want when you um, have excess line uh, you can trim that by using the um, the trim tool which is a little scissor icon in the um, sketch mode 
and it's also accessible in, I believe, annotate. So now we're actually making a house shaped, a house shape, and this is one inch tall on the rectangle and an inch tall on the triangle and one inch wide. And as you can see, we can use the um, fillet tool to create a curved top or curved edges. So that allows you to have a nice looking shape and reduce sharp edges. And now we're just extruding it to a half inch and boom, now we have a cool looking house shaped part. Now we're gonna put another sketch on the other face and then we're gonna grab an arc, it looks like. No, we're gonna grab a line instead and we're gonna put that in the middle of the part and then we're gonna put an arc ranging from that and then we're gonna add that to that face. And a cool thing about this is we can, since we're able to put different sketches on different faces, we can edit the part to how we want it. And now we're gonna dimension it and this makes the part look blue or dark blue. And that means it's, um, that's something I forgot to tell you earlier. That is basically saying that it's a fully constrained part and it won't have any errors later in the program or in when you're making sketches later in the um, part. So it's kind of nice to do that. And so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to extrude that. So this is quarter inch wide and we're gonna put another arc, an eighth of an inch tall. And then dimension that so it appears to be a nice blue. And boom, now that's finished. We're gonna extrude this using the loft, con the loft control. And then now we can have a hole going through the top for a type of necklace. Pretty cool. And now we're gonna try out the chan we're gonna show you how the chamfer tool works. And what this does is make a sharp edge instead of a curved edge like the fillet tool. And so and once we do that, we're gonna go back in the sketch mode and we're gonna add text onto this part. And what you do is you click the in the sketch mode, you can go click text on there, it's it's a, a letter A, it's a capital letter A, and you can um, put labels on there, on your part, or make a copy of it if you want to. But for right now, we're just gonna center this on this part, and now you can label or have a cool graphic on your part that you designed. Now we're going to click the emboss tool so that we can create letter or create text that sticks out of the part. So what we're going to do is first we're going to obviously go to the emboss tool bar. Then we're going to create our depth and we're going to make it a quarter inch deep. Once we have that, we're going to click finish or we're going to click OK and then we'll have the text sticking out of the part.
Now that we have that done, we're gonna go back into Sketch and we're gonna click Project Geometry for the face with that says Test Part 1 on it. Next, we're going to click a sketch around the Project Geometry and then we're going to extrude that, allowing us to have a nice face that has um, that sticks out further and has a larger lip than without or than before. And then after that, we're going to go click the plane button, and then we're gonna click on the other side and click mirror, which allows a exact duplicate of the first face to be made on the other side. And this is really nice when you're creating something complex that you don't wanna, so you don't have to do the same thing over again. Instead, you can just make a copy of it and do it on the other side. So now once we have that finished, we're going to get into changing the materials on your part without exiting the specific command that you're doing. So now we're gonna go back into sketch mode and we're going to use a point and dimension that point to a specific location so that we're able to put a hole through the part. And by using the hole tool in the 3D model toolbar, you're able to change the size of that hole or move it around if you desire. And you can change the depth, you can change the different type of threading, you can have it countersunk through, you can even make it, you can change the size, or you can have it so it only goes in a, a specific depth, which I mentioned before. Now Ben is just doing what he just talked about a few minutes ago. He just added the hole onto the point that he added in the previous clip. For this part, you can really do any size hole that you want, but we had to do a smaller hole because we didn't want to cover up the text that we added earlier. And now we have the threads also in. Uh, now we are actually going to be adding fillets to the outside bottom corners of our um, part because we want it to be more smooth and have less edges that someone could get cut on if this were printed. It looks pretty nice now. So everything's nice and smooth. And then since we're done with that, we're going to go and save the part which you can save to any file you would like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Please subscribe.